Yo, what's up, you guys? What's going on, YouTube football heads worldwide? Be back again with digging in the trenches. Uh, today, we're actually going to be talking about the Dolphins. No, I'm just kidding. We're not talking about the Dolphins today. Um, today, we're going to be talking about Max Borgie out of Washington State. Um, he's from Arvada, Colorado. I think he's what, five foot ten, two hundred and five pounds. Um, once he gets to the NFL, obviously he might get a little bit bigger. Um, well, for his sake, he's definitely hoping. And so, um, he's an athlete, really, that kind of, at, at least at the college level, has relied mostly on his speed and um, not like his power per se. He's uh, more of a Finesse, but he does have power too, just not as much as you would like. Um, he's more of an outside zone type of a back um, than a between the tackles. Now, he can run between the tackles, don't get me wrong there. You know, it's not saying he can't do it, um, it's just not his forte. <clears throat> to me, he'd be more used and be successful depending on which um, organization gets him if he's used more like. So you don't want to compare, because I don't like doing comparisons. You don't want to say, like, the Panthers and McCaffrey, because that's who everybody wants to compare him to. But I'm saying more like the Saints use Alvin Kamara, something like that. He would be, even in the scheme he's running now and we're there in Washington State, they use a lot of delay runs, draws, um, counters, um, things like that. Um, things that are out of the shotgun set a lot. He doesn't have a lot of eye formation. Obviously, he plays at Washington State. Mike Leach. Um, but let's just get right into it with this guy. We Like we normally do, we'll go right into it. I start from the bottom up. So I'll go from a prospect's feet up. Unless we're dealing with a quarterback, I'll probably still start there. But um, his feet are sweet, man. He's got some really nice feet. I would say very much above average, if not um, borderline great. Um, his feet are nice. He can make you miss. He's got some dancing feet. Very quick. <clears throat> Not a lot of wasted steps in his motion when he's going to run somewhere either. Um, he's got great change of direction. He's probably going to put up a really good three cone. Uh, pay attention to the three cone, not the 40 time. Um, but we'll see what happens in the combine. But I, his change of direction is way above average. Also, I put that almost like great as well. Okay, so when you he's also a low center to gravity comp player, so he's already down low, so he's low man wins most of the time. He can make the first man miss as well. Um, then when you get more into his, um, like we just said, his contact balances really well. He can make you miss. Um, when you get more into like, <clears throat> can he handle like? A lot of carries and be a bell cow running back <sighs> at this point no at this point in his career no but can he develop into that yes can he get into an NFL system and get bigger faster um, become better and rely more on his first step and his quickness and mixed with his power and you know what I mean like he's got to put it all together in order to get there um, after you get around that, he doesn't really fumble a lot. He can hold the ball and carry it. He can do all that. He can break some tackles, too, in the open field. Now we'll get to his speed. His speed, I would say, is somewhere probably around the um, low 4.5, so like 4.51, 4.52, something like that. If he low, runs below a 4.5, wow, he's made himself some money. Um, I don't see it happening, but we'll see. Um, then you get more into his hands. His hands are nice, man. He's got some sweet hands. Nice, soft hands. Can catch out of the backfield. Um, can run all the running back routes and probably receiver routes, too. His route tree is not fully developed, but I'm sure he could bring it to the next level. See, that's about him advancing to the next level. <clears throat> For a running back like this, I think he has to be used like that. But he can run all those routes, uh, the Will, Texas, all of it. He's really good at it. I'm sure if you even gave him some option choice routes, he'd be in good, like whip, stuff like that, jerk, anything like that. He would run real well. <clears throat> kind of like um, 
that kid that the Rams drafted in the seventh round, that Funk, I think his name was Jake Funk. I think that was his name. He reminds me kind of like a little bit like that a little, but a little better. Um, <laughs> if he could get his explosiveness and his um, speed and all of that up to par for the NFL level, you could use him like the Browns are using Demetric Felton. I broke him down. It's kind of the same scenario with him. But then once you get back into uh, the prospect, which is Max Borgie, um, <clears throat> like I said, he's more of a zone runner than an in-between-the-tackles runner. He can block. Don't get me wrong. This kid is a willing blocker. So his pass protection, he can do that. He can step up and at least try to do that. There's some backs who won't even try. Um, when he gets into his vision, his vision is underrated, I think. He sees it well, and he's a very patient runner. He presses the hole well where he likes it. The thing about him that I don't really particularly like is that I don't, he'll have to get out of this as he relies on his speed to beat people to the outside, and he needs to reverse that in the NFL. So he needs to be like, I'm going to cut inside first before I'm going to cut outside. So if he could reverse this at the next level in the NFL, I think he'll have a very productive career. He needs to be thinking, yo, I'm going to cut this thing inside instead of outside. Unless the outside is there and it's he's got to just he's if he's going to go outside he's got to get there in the NFL he's got to realize they're going to be a lot quicker so <clears throat> he's tough he plays with tenacity he plays with a non-stop motor um he's got a lot of heart and desire behind his runs he plays with <clears throat> a really good low center of gravity already because he's shorter five foot ten so um he plays with great leverage behind his pads he runs good behind the pads um now, just because he did, can't run behind the tackles like we've been said before, don't mean he can't get on the goal line, run up, uh, line up, and he ain't gonna run it into the goal in there for you. He will, but you know, the, there's a lot to be desired about the in between the tackles game for him. He needs to be more used as far as like in the passing game more, you know, and he'll 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 really do well there, I would think. <clears throat> but then when you get to the football player's IQ. His IQ is off the charts. This guy is a football player all the way around. Like, I'll give you an example. When I was watching a game, I think they were playing Washington, where the I think it was Anthony Gordon, so went into a scramble drill. And he started scrambling to his right, and Borgie was running on a play coming out of the backfield to his left. Immediately, Borgie stopped, doubled back, and started scrambling back toward the quarterback side he was scrambling to. That's a sign of awareness. Um, the kid is really good, I think. I mean, he probably will end up dra getting not drafted and end up being like an undrafted free agent somewhere, is what I would think. <clears throat> he can he can do a little bit of pass blocking, like I was saying. So after you get out of that part of it, like I said, his vision is pretty underrated, and it's it's good. It's not the best, but it's not bad. It's, it's good. Um, if he was just more bigger and stronger and could run in between the tackles he'd probably be the complete package but it's going to take maybe just a little bit of time but um that's what i think about the prospects so far um i'll probably maybe jump into another prospect here a little bit later we'll deuces